You already use ChatGPT for writing, summarizing, and maybe even quick analysis. But you're still missing 90% of what it can actually do. It could be your analyst assistant, process optimizer, and reporting coach, all in one. In this video, I'll show you 10 insanely practical chat GPT tips for financial analysts in 2025 that'll help you and your team save 50 plus hours a week. So let's jump in. Number one, master prompt for your analyst role. Start here. Before you ask chat GPT to analyze revenue or build commentary, tell it who you are and what you do. Say this, you are my AI co-analyst. In the attached document, I've described my full role, job, recurring tasks, reports I prepare, and bottlenecks. Identify what can be automated, where I waste time, and how to redesign my workflow for speed and accuracy. Give me a complete framework of how you can help me, what you can do, automate, and generate for me so I can save time. Feed it your job description, a list of monthly deliverables, even the communication process with the team and management. Then ask, where am I losing time? And what parts could AI do for me reliably? This is what I got. First, I have a full diagnosis where you're losing time. Then I have what can be automated reliably. Third, I got how to redesign workflow step by step. Then I got framework of how ChatGPT can help. And finally, I got a suggestion for a quick win. Number two, upload your outputs and inputs. Next, upload your work, all of it. Your Excel tables, your profit and loss, dashboards, your KPI list, and even the input files, the raw data you use to build those reports. This is the prompt. Here are my key outputs attached. Monthly reports, KPIs, and their data inputs. Show me what could be generated or validated by ChatGPT in which formats and how to make it accurate and repeatable. This is where ChatGPT becomes your consistency checker. It'll point out manual patterns, formulas that can break, and text commentary you could automate. And it'll even draft scripts for you, like VBA, Python, or Excel formulas to build those automations. Essentially, you're teaching AI your workflow, and in return, it's teaching you how to stop doing repetitive tasks manually. Number three, fix communication bottlenecks. Every analyst knows this pain. Unclear emails, waiting on approvals, or repeating explanations to the same people. Use ChatGPT as your communication system designer. Prompt it like this. These are recurring communication challenges with management and departments. I've uploaded my talking points and exchanges with the team and board. Draft a communication plan, what to improve in the talking, responding, answering, messaging, and give me escalation steps to reduce delays. It'll write message drafts, follow-up reminders, and even response frameworks like how to explain negative variants in three sentences to a non-finance manager. You'll communicate faster, clearer, and with way less friction. Number four, build internal controls and checklists. Now, we move from communication to control. You can ask ChatGPT to create internal checklists and control systems for your reporting cycles. Think of it as your compliance copilot. Prompt, create a month-end closing checklist for my finance team that ensures compliance with accounting standards and corporate policies. Include task, purpose, responsible, deadline, and risk if missed. ChatGPT will give you a structured table the kind auditors love. And you can customize it for inventory, receivables, VAT, accruals, whatever process you run. No more forgotten steps, no more undocumented procedures. Your checklist becomes your built-in control system. Number five, write procedures for your department. Now that you've got controls, let's define who does what. Most teams don't have clear task ownership, and that's where deadlines die. Use this prompt. Generate a standard operating procedure for our finance department showing what roles perform what tasks, when they do them, and who reviews each step. It'll create a mini manual with clear lines of responsibility. Perfect for onboarding, delegating, or audit prep. 
Number six, review junior staff work. This one's a game changer for team leads. Stop losing hours on reviewing. Paste your team's reports or Excel commentary and say, act as a senior finance manager reviewing this analyst's work. Identify unclear insights, wrong formulas, inconsistent terminology, or missing conclusions. In seconds, ChatGPT will highlight gaps and rewrite commentary in a professional tone. You can even ask it to rephrase the analysis in executive-ready style. This isn't just quality control, it's coaching. You're scaling your review skills through the AI. Number seven, automate forecasting logic. This is where AI stops being text only and becomes your forecast engine. Give it your historical data, assumptions, and drivers. Then prompt, here's our historical revenue data. Build a forecasting logic explaining seasonality, growth trend, and key drivers, and show me the formulas I could use in Excel. It'll create driver-based forecast, even stress test results in Excel, so you can check accuracy of the forecast easily. This is how you build explainable forecasting models, the kind your CFO actually trusts. And when your assumptions change, just upload new data and say, rebuild the forecast with updated assumptions. You'll have an instant scenario refresh. Number eight, generate management commentary and board decks. You've got the numbers, now you need the story. Upload your income statements with historical and budget data or a dashboard table and prompt. Write a monthly management commentary summarizing performance versus budget and versus last year. Include all significant variances and provide insights, risks and next steps in the form of action plan and strategic recommendations. ChatGPT will write it like an FP and A report, structured, clear and ready for your slide deck. Then you can say, turn this into a five slide board presentation with one insight per slide. It even gives slide titles, chart ideas and talking points. No more three hour wordsmithing sessions. You focus on insights. This AI does the storytelling. Number nine, detect anomalies in your data. Every analyst has faced this. The trial balance doesn't tie or we want to review our books before the auditors. Nobody likes audit findings. Now let ChatGPT do the first sweep. Prompt. Here's my trial balance or general ledger export. Identify anomalies or inconsistencies by account, period, or counterparty. You've just automated your first level review. It will flag duplicate transactions, strange negative balances, suspicious weekend postings, end of month spikes, accrual reversal missing, missing or vague descriptions, round number bias, large manual journals without approvals, unusual FX rates, VAT or tax anomalies. It's not replacing your judgment. It's amplifying it. Number 10, streamline budget coordination and guidelines. Budget season doesn't have to be chaos. Here is what you can prompt. Draft clear budget preparation guidelines for department heads. Include assumptions, templates to fill, submission deadlines, and examples of acceptable inputs. It'll create a structured memo with instructions, email templates, and even a follow-up timeline. Then say, now, summarize this for a presentation to management. You'll have both an operational document for your team and a summarized slide for your boss. ChatGPT can also consolidate departmental inputs. Just upload them all and ask it to spot inconsistencies in assumptions or missing data. Bonus insight. Combine them into a finance analyst GPT. Here's where it all comes together. Take your master role prompt, your outputs and checklists, your controls and commentary, and upload them into a single custom GPT. Call it Finance Analyst OS. This becomes your second brain, one that knows your company, your data, and your workflow. Every time you start a new report, budget, or forecast, it already has the context. That's when AI stops being a chatbot and becomes your teammate. If you apply even two of these tips, you'll feel the difference this month. So, try them. Then tell me in the comments, which one saved you the most time?
If you want to see how the other AI tools can be used in finance and when each one fits best, check out my video AI Tools for Finance or subscribe to my channel. I'll see you there.